Right now, the most important thing for all of us to do is stay home, if at all possible. We know it's what we need to do to stay safe, to keep our families safe, and to limit the spread of this virus. But I want to acknowledge that there are people who don't consider home to be a safe space. People who may be isolated right now, living with a domestic abuser, and living in a circumstance where stress levels have been exacerbated by what we're all going through. And unfortunately, we have already seen a spike in reports of incidents of domestic violence. In Fall River, the Women's Center at Stanley Street Treatment and Resources has seen a 55% increase in the number of direct calls and referrals from both survivors and their supporters. It's worth noting that those calls are now coming in the middle of the week. Traditionally, domestic violence rates spike on the weekend, but now with folks being home, stuck in the house together all the time, those calls are coming during the week. The National Domestic Violence Hotline is also reporting that abusers are uh, using this situation, taking advantage of it to further frighten people in their homes, uh, discouraging them from being in contact with their families or seeking medical treatment. This is a scary time for all of us, but exponentially more so if you are living in fear of domestic violence. It's important that everyone know that there is help available. The National Domestic Violence Hotline is 1-800-799-7233. If you are not comfortable calling, you can text LOVE IS to 22522 or go to the hotline.org to chat. We all need to stay safe in our homes right now. That means safe from COVID-19, but it also means safe from domestic violence.